Okay, welcome. This video is on the six rules of exponents. The first rule, when you multiply two numbers with the same base, the same base is x, x is the base. The rule is the base stays the same, you add the powers. So x to the fourth times x to the third equals x to the four plus three, which equals x to the seventh power. That's rule number one. When you multiply two numbers with the same base, the base stays the same. You add the exponents. What about this one? x3 times x. Well, there's an invisible one sitting right here. So this is x to the 3 times x to the 1. The base stays the same. You add the powers, 3 plus the invisible 1. And you get x to the 4 power. All right, rule number two. When you divide two numbers with the same base, the base stays the same and it stays on top. You subtract the powers. It's always the top power minus the bottom power. Eight minus five is x to the third power. Okay, I've got another one for you. What about this? x to the three divided by x to the five. The answer is x to the top minus the bottom. 3 minus 5 is x to the negative 2. And I will show you later on what to do when you have a negative power. Rule number 3. Guess what? It's later on. <laughs> the negative power rule. If you have a negative power for your final answer, you cannot have negative powers. What the negative power tells you to do is flip the base. Flip it. So if you wrote x in a fraction form, it would be x over 1. So x to the negative 3 power, flipping x, now I have 1 over x. The power of 3 stays attached. So the negative power rule says flip the base. The power stays attached, and it's positive. The answer is 1 over x to the third. Remember, you cannot have a negative power in any final answer. Negative power rule, flip the base. Here, let me give you an example, another example with a fraction. Two-thirds x to the negative 3. The negative is attached to the parentheses, so we're going to flip the parentheses. Two-thirds is now 3 over 2. to the third power. We flipped it and now 3 over 2 raised to the third power equals 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 which equals 27 over 8. So the negative power rule says flip the base. The base is 2 thirds. We flip it. We now have 3 over 2 with the power of 3 still attached to the base. And then we multiply 3 over 2 3 times third power multiply the tops 3 times 3 is times 3 is 27 and the bottoms 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 rule number 4 says any base to the zero power equals 1 x to the zero power equals 1 i'd like you to try this one on your calculator type in 5 to the zero power on your calculator on your calculator some of you may have to type in 5 and then there's this arrow up button, 5 raised to the 0 power. Or some calculators have this YX button, 5YX0. Both of these are raised to the 0 power. You should get 5 raised to the 0 power. You get 1. Any base to the 0 power equals 1. Rule number 5. I have a power, one base, and a power raised to a power. The power raised to a power rule says the base stays the same. Power raised to a power, we actually multiply the powers. 3 times 4 is x to the 12th power. x to the 12th power. Let me try another one. Here's a crazy one. x to the second raised to the negative 3. The power raised to the power says you multiply. x to the 2 times a negative 3 
equals x to the negative 6. Now, we cannot have negative power as my final answer. And if you remember rule 3 above, rule 3 says final answer. If I have a negative power, flip the base. The power stays attached to the base. So my final answer for this problem is 1 over x to the 6th. And the last rule that we have. The last rule is a power outside of the parentheses rule. When everything inside the parentheses is being multiplied or divided, the power outside of the parentheses rule says, remember, everything in the parentheses has to be multiplied or divided. The power actually attaches to each item in the parentheses. So what I have is a 2 to the third power, a x to the third power, and a y to the third power. The third power attaches to each item. What I see now is I can still work a little bit. 2 to the third power, any num number to a power, you might as well do the work. 2 to the third power is 8. Everything else stays the same, and now we're done. So the final answer to this rule 6 is 8x to the third over y to the third. This has been how to work the six rules of exponents. I hope this video helped you. Feel free to watch it again.